But I have covered my favourite PlayStation 1 and my PlayStation 2 games. Now I feel like we should go on to the PlayStation 3. Now, let me just be clear with one thing else. I'm going to be putting one of these games into this list. On this, you can see it's Uncharted 1, 2, 3. Now, I'm putting this here because I know that Uncharted 1 was in the play was on the PlayStation 3. And I've only played it on the PlayStation 4. As a that's just a we make we master that I don't know. Anyway, um here's the intro. Number five, Soul Calibur 4. Now, with this game is basically the only, the only Soul Calibur game that I will probably ever play in my life. Why? Well, this is the one when Star Wars came to it. It was basically, it was on the PlayStation 3 and it was on the Xbox 360. And you, from some of the versions, one of them you were able to play as Yoda, the other one, Darth Vader and also, on the way occasion, started it. Now, this game was a bit confusing because you were able to download DLC for the Xbox 360 but not for the PlayStation 3. So, Starkiller, I would assume, is one of the rare characters and I've never got to play as him but hopefully one day I'll get my chance and I'll be able to play on him. But the sole reason why I like this is because you were able to Play as Star Wars characters and play in some of the Star Wars worlds, um, mainly from A New Hope. So that's the only thing I really liked about it. Nothing, nothing else really. So now I've said that I've put this on my top four games that I find boring, but look at that mentions is still in a way fun. Now I wouldn't really recommend it playing on the PlayStation 3. I would recommend it playing on the higher consoles like the PlayStation 4 or the Xbox One. Now the reason being is because, well, it's good, but on the PlayStation 4 the graphics are better, you're able to go around worlds and I think downloading stuff and buying stuff on the store is also much more easier also. After all, I've got about at least six users on the PlayStation 3 and I want to delete some, but I just have to be a bit careful. Now I do like Lego Dimensions, but not too much. It's really depending on what day. Like one day I like it, the next day I won't like it. Same as of when I'm doing gaming videos, like with Lego Dimensions. Other days I like it, other days I won't. But with Disney Infinity, that's something a bit different. Number three, Batman Arkham Asylum. Now when was the last time I talked about an Arkham game? Like. Ever. Now, I haven't been playing Return to Arkham that much on the um, PlayStation 4 yet. Um, in fact, I haven't really been playing Batman Arkham Knight yet, which I will say one day that will return to the Eddie's games. But Batman Arkham Asylum, before it got all released on the PlayStation 4, before I got Arkham Knight, that was the second game I played. I played both demos actually for Arkham Asylum and Arkham City, but with this game, when I got to play it finally, it took me a couple of buying of the games to actually play as the Joker. And really, I never did until I got the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 4 version, and then I got to play as the Joker and it felt fantastic. Voice by, voice by Mark Hamill, everything, it was just amazing. And with Batman Arkham Asylum, you get to explore the asylum by stopping different goons. And this is one of the ones that most people quite like, and that's why I think Rocksteady was quite popular um, before. Like, they were quite popular back then, and after they released Batman Arkham VR, they faded down and they're not that much popular. Ever since then, we really haven't heard of anything new, and I'm not so sure we ever will, but I don't like to think like that. But with Arkham Asylum, it was a good game, but not as good as my number one. Now, only playing halfway through the game, haven't really completed all of it, and I've reached into the bit where Sully 
get shot, which we know he's still alive. Uncharted, Drake's Detention, I think that's what it's called. Um, I'm just going to call it Uncharted 1. So from what I'm guessing from Uncharted 1, this is like the beginning. At first this was on the PlayStation 3 when it got released, and I guess, I think the feet of the Um This game was the start of everything. You get to have an introduction to Nathan Drake, Sully, and also Elena, and also the guns, combat, and also enemies. Now, I will say there's a couple of things that have been improved since then, because in Uncharted 4, I feel like everything's been improved from the last games, and it feels so much better. It does. Now, I would recommend playing this game if you've got PlayStation 3, go ahead. But if you want to play on new and better graphics and you have some problems that I have, play it on the PlayStation 4. It's a good game and it's got, and for the PlayStation 4 one, it's got 1, 2, and 3. But for the other one, like even on um, PlayStation 3, it is a lot cheaper. But with this game, I like it a lot. As of number 2, uh, number 1, Batman Arkham City. Now I like this one for the PlayStation 3. Now I wasn't going to put Batman Arkham Origins on here because, well, the controller hasn't been working for me, and that's why I stopped gameplay because after a while you just get you just get fed up with it. So Arkham City was the first game that was an introduction to playing as more characters from Robin, Nightwing, Catwoman, and also a little tease from Asriel. Of course, you get to play as Batman as usual and also some other little sneak sneak peek of characters from you to play as Bruce Wayne at the start um, yeah so the story mode is that you go in uh, you been captured in brought into um, what was it um, this big Basically, there's this big gate like in the front of Gotham, and you go in and you find out what's going on, and then you find out this thing called Protocol 10, which is basically a thing to kill everyone in that big prison, and then eventually going on to Gotham. Now, there's all of this bad stuff and all this plans is behind Hugo Strange which is which he is working for Wei Shao Gu. Oh and also Joker is also an enemy in this as well. And also introduce some side missions, most wanted and also AR challenges and much more, including some more downloadable content with the Harley Quinn Revenge Pack and yeah, it's a good game and I would recommend playing this on the PlayStation 4, but not on the PlayStation 3, but if you got one, if you got that, then yeah. I don't so I hope you enjoyed today's video. Alright, so I'm guessing next we'll be looking at PlayStation 4 games. Now, we may go down the line of Nintendo Wii and the Xbox lineup, but if we go down the Xbox lineup, it'll just be the first Xbox and the Xbox 360 not the Xbox One because I don't have that. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hopefully my update video talking about the XC fan channel and stuff should be out by now. If not, uh, also a vlog will also be coming soon. Uh, probably Thursday or Friday. I know what I mean. Anyway, um, I guess I'll see you guys on the next one. And stay good, adiosers.